Hey guys, it's Technology Nerd here, and today I'll be showing you how to upgrade your RAM in the Mac Mini uh, mid 2010, the one with the uh, DVD drive. Um, sorry, it's been a while since I've had a video, but I really had nothing to show. So, anyways, putting the RAM upgrade to RAM in this Mac is really simple. Uh, first, what you want to do is get a cloth like that, you don't ruin the aluminum, and flip it over. And let me turn the light here. Hold on. Ooh, blue light. White light. Okay, anyways, so we have the bottom of it. And there's two holes right there. Okay, you see that? Now, those you untwist. Um, like, so you untwist them. Then to take off the back bottom panel. Sorry, I'm holding the camera. You just flip it over and it'll drop off. Okay, hold on. Okay, now I'm gonna, gonna need to get a tripod for this, so hold on. Okay, I hope this is good. Uh, to really get a better tripod, this is like one of those mini tripods. Anyways, today what we'll be putting in is an 8 gig kit, so some crucial RAM. Uh, it is two 4 gig sticks. Um, DDR3, uh, PC3-8500. Make sure you get PC3-8500. If you don't, it will not work with the Mac Mini. Uh, this is available on Amazon. That's where I bought this one. Uh, and I guess this is sort of an unboxing of the RAM, too. So, let me just uh, open this. If I can... Hold on, guys. One minute. Okay, now I've got some scissors. Oh, let's open this. I hate these packages. I like the ones that easily open, or if they come in like a box or something. Okay, that open. Kind of. Just hoping that was open. Okay, I right, guess we have it open now. There we go. Oh, this one's a little loose in here. So we have our crucial RAM. Let's take this thing out so they have a better look at it. So two sticks of crucial RAM. Okay, so what we gotta do to take this one out. Right here, we gotta flip this off. Actually, I might be able to do this one hand. So anyways, we have the original sticks of RAM in here. Uh, you have to, to take those two sticks, one on the top, one on the bottom. To take the top one out, you simply pull away at these two latches, these two metal latches right here. Can I do this one? Yeah. So, and that lifts up after you can just slide that out. Put that aside. Don't touch the gold pins on the bottom of it. Now this one at the bottom, do the same thing. Slide the two latches and slide it out. Okay, so now we have, as you can see, the empty slots. Now, I'm going to put this back here again. Okay. So now, these over here are kind of hard to pop out, depending on the packaging, that is. These ones are actually fairly easy. So, just pull one out. Okay. Put that aside. Got to pull this other one out now. Make sure you keep your old RAM, guys, because you never know when it might come in handy somewhere else. Although, Mac RAM is pretty Mac specific. Okay. Anyways, back on top of the computer. So, first, what we want to do is slide in the bottom. And you see this gap in between the RAM? 
try to fit that in. There's a gap right here. You can see that black piece right there that fits perfectly in there. Don't put it in the other way because it won't fit. So this one over here, simply just slide it in. Make sure it's in tightly that all the pins are connected fully. And then push that down. And take the other ram and put it in on top. Same way as the other one. Make sure that it matches up. Just slide that in. Make sure that it fits in there all the way. Okay, and push that down again. And then you can put the cover back on. And I'm not gonna do that just for the sake of me not putting it on the camera. Uh, start your Mac up. If it beeps, you should try, you should make sure that the RAM is fully pushed in when you start it up, if it beeps. Um, and if you're sure it's fully pushed in and still beeps, you might have the wrong type of RAM. And because uh, Apple is very picky uh, with the RAM that you use, but this one should work. Uh, okay, guys, thanks for watching. This is Mr. Technology Nerd. See you later.